Hi there, everyone. Um, so my name is Mishram Basin, and uh, I'm going to share uh, my uh, my learnings on uh, implicit sharing. This is something that I stumbled upon while you know uh, preparing for my next third exam, which is a sharing and visibility designer exam. And uh, contrary to my earlier understanding, this uh, is, is way deeper than I, I thought it to be initially. And a lot of my misconceptions were cleared. And I would like to give a special thanks to Johan Furman, uh, who via this video of his uh, helped me to understand it, it better. And this is something he prepared when he wasn't even a CDA. He was just preparing for the, for the CDA. So a lot of my um, uh, confusions were cleared. And so thank you, Johan. And uh, I didn't stop there. I, I went on and checked out a few more YouTube videos. And I realized that there might be a lot of uh, confusion uh, or misconception related to this topic. And uh, on, on some of the videos, uh, it's, it's, it's not right. So maybe uh, that, that's what prompted me to uh, record this video for you guys and uh, share what I know. And this is something um, that I read uh, here. This is the guide to sharing architecture. Sorry if it's uh, appearing mirrored. Uh, this is a Salesforce documentation. And uh, on top of that, I, my, uh, whatever I learned here uh, were uh, reaffirmed and rather clarified by the video uh, from Johan Furman. So, uh, implicit sharing, uh, there are a few things uh, that I would like to highlight here. Implicit sharing, number one, is not, is not the same as controlled by parent. Please understand this because I, I saw a few videos which uh, kept mentioning controlled by parent as implicit sharing. No, these are completely two different things. Uh, as a matter of fact, if you if you do control by parent in your older beauty settings, then it overrides implicit sharing. So no, it's not the same as implicit sharing. Older beauty, controlled by parent and implicit sharing, two completely different things, okay? And uh, secondly, uh, there's a common mis misconception that this applies to master detail relationships. No, uh, uh, this is something uh, that I found and this is what the documentation uh, specifies. Implicit sharing applies to specific standard objects only. And those standard objects do not have master detail relationships. So the standard objects uh, to which this implicit sharing applies are account, opportunities, cases, contacts, and as per the documentation orders as well, though I haven't tried it with orders. So how does it work? There are two types of implicit sharing. Number one, parent implicit sharing, and number two is child implicit sharing. They are kind of different from each other uh, in, in a lot of ways, uh, which I will share. So parent implicit sharing specifies that if a user has access to one of the child records, then by implicit sharing, that user will get a read-only access to the parent record, in this case, the account record. So like, let's say um, if there is a, uh, if, if there is a, an account record, let's say Shane Bond, okay? And this account record has a contact by the same name, Shane Bond. And before I proceed further, let me, let me show you the sharing settings that I have set up in this org. So account and contract private, 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 private. Okay, so for, excuse me, for case, opportunity, order, contact, it's all private. It's not controlled by parent because if you change it to controlled by parent, then that's, that's not implicit sharing. It's, it, it's something different and it gets overridden by controlled by uh, parent, okay? So for implicit sharing to work, it should not be controlled by parent. It should be private, okay? That, that, that's how implicit sharing works. And uh, as you know, uh, to uh, further uh, stress on the point that it's not uh, something that applies in master detail relationship, see account and contact. It's a lookup relationship from contact to account, case and account. It's a lookup relationship. So 
it's not a master detail relationship at all. Although this is a special kind of relationship because it often behaves like master detail relationship. So that would probably explain why this happens. So as, as Johan mentioned in his video that it's, a, it's an ancient uh, relationship or something like that, uh, with which I agree. Um, this might have been created at a time before we had the, the, the full fledged concept of sharing settings and all. So maybe, maybe that's one of the reasons, uh, but yeah, that, that's a thing. So as we can see in the schema builder, uh, the relationship is uh, lookup, it's not master detail. And uh, secondly, this applies to specific standard objects only. And third, uh, your OWD settings for the child objects should not be controlled by parent. If it is, then it's not implicit sharing, it's something else. So now let's take a look at the parent implicit sharing. What does it specify? Based on the documentation, parent implicit sharing is when a user gets access to a child record, then by implicit sharing, that user will automatically get a read-only access to the parent record. So in this case, what I have done, I'm currently logged in as myself. I'm, an, I'm a system admin here, but I've created another user, Rocky Balboa, and this user is a standard user. He's not a, a system admin. And uh, let me let me share that with you, Rocky Balboa. Uh, so this uh, specific user is uh, having a profile which is that of a standard user. And let me see. It's a bit slow. Apologies for that. Okay. So uh, this user has a profile standard user, which is a standard profile and does not have view all permission or anything like that. And secondly, uh, there is no sharing rule. See, no sharing rule here, not for contact, order, asset, opportunity case, no sharing rules at all. So why, why I've done this setup is to show you that it's purely because of implicit sharing and there is no control by parent at all. So now uh, let me check what does this guy see? Nothing, contacts, nothing, accounts. Uh, if I go to all accounts right now, this guy is able to see all accounts. Now, why does he see all accounts, Shane Bond? This is again, um, 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 mister should not be able to see, but this guy is able to see this account. And why is this? Let's take a look at why is this guy able to see that? Associated record owner or sharing because of the case. So now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna remove this. Okay. I will go to the tab and I will delete this. Okay. So now let's go back again and let's see if this time this user is able to see the record. So right now, cannot see the record anymore. So no accounts, no contacts, and then, 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 now no cases either. Because the last time it, it got the access because of the case, okay? So now it uh, doesn't have access to anything. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slowly grant uh, this user access to this case. And this case belongs to the account, chain bond, okay? <clears throat> Excuse me. So the moment I do this, Okay, it's, it's shared with this. And if I check this case, this case is related to this account. So now when I go here, uh, okay, because it's shared with this user, so can see the case, but what happens to account? Now this guy is able to see the account as well, purely by implicit sharing. And if I check the sharing details, 
it will clearly mention why is it visible to this user associated record owner are sharing and the associated record is case okay so this is parent implicit sharing when you get access to a child record you automatically get access to the parent record albeit it's uh it's a read-only access so now if i try to change this let's say i want to edit this account to, to to prove my point that it's a read-only access if i try to change it it will give me an error oops you don't have the necessary privileges to edit this record uh, back in the day uh, the, the video that i saw uh, the error message wasn't that friendly it would say something like you know uh, insufficient uh, access to like object id or something but but th this is uh, more relevant you don't have the necessary privileges to edit this record so yeah uh, so this is parent implicit sharing you get access to the child record and then you get access automatically via implicit sharing not because of control by parent or anything to the parent record okay now let's see what happens uh, to child implicit sharing child implicit sharing is something which states that if you own a parent record if you own a parent record then by the role of the account owner you can specify whether or not you can access the child records so this is something that I wasn't aware of before. And if it sounds a bit confusing, let's uh, check it out. So first, what I will do is I will go to the case and I will remove the access first, OK? Because uh, that, that's the point. I'm trying to show you how does this child implicit sharing works. So first of all, I will remove the access from here, OK, removed. And now uh, I will try to see this account. I can no longer see. The, the reason is because uh, the parent implicit sharing has been removed and I cannot see contacts either. And I cannot see that case either because the manual sharing has been removed now. So now what I'm gonna do is I am going to, mm, 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 go to this account and I'm gonna change the ownership to Rocky Balboa. Okay, okay. Okay, so now this account uh, record is owned by Rocky Balboa. Okay, and uh, let's see what happens now. Now, this user can see the case and let's see what happens to contacts. Can see the contact and can see the account because the owner of the account. So how is it governed? How is it defined? So let's check it out. So the, the, def the definition is it's defined and controlled by the account owner's role. So let's, let's go to this user. Let's see what role this user has. Okay, going to the user detail. And here, uh, this user has a role Western sales team, okay? And here, if you check this part, it says, contact access, opportunity access, and case access. So users in this role can edit all contacts associated with accounts that they own, regardless of who owns the contacts. So meaning, Rocky Balboa can actually edit the contacts and same applies for the case and the opportunity. So it's an edit access. So let's try it out. Let's see what happens. Uh, I'll try to update uh, I don't know, the subject. Are the case reason, are the case origin? I don't know. Case origin is already there, sorry. Uh, maybe I will try to access something else. Let's see what I can access. Okay, so I will say, 
um, maybe subject test case uh, showing child implicit sharing. And now let's see what happens. Okay, so Rocky Balboa has edit access on this case record. Okay, now let's see what happens if I remove this. So when you edit this, you can have three different options. No access, view access, edit access. So what if I go here, okay, and I click this one, do not own, like cannot see. So now if I go here and if I try to refresh the page, cannot see the case anymore. So that's how child implicit sharing works. And now if I change this back, if I change this back and, 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 and if I say, let's say view, then I should be able to see the case record again, but this time it won't be editable. Okay, so like if I try to edit something here, if I try to edit something here, what do we have? Oh, you do not have the level of access necessary to perform the operation you requested. Please contact the owner of the record or your administrator if access is necessary. So yeah, and if I change it back to edit, I should be able to do that again. I mean, Rocky Balboa should be able to do that again. So now I'm back here. And now if I click this, it's editable again. Okay, so yeah, so this is how parent implicit sharing works and child implicit sharing works. There are a few other uh, subsets of implicit sharing, uh, but that's for another day, another video. But the, the main reason why I created this video is because I, I still see there's a lot of misconception out there and uh, I hope this helps to clear it. So a few things, this applies to standard objects, certain standard objects, namely accounts, contacts, opportunities, case, does not have to be controlled by parent. The OWD setting should not be controlled by parent because then it will overwrite the implicit sharing. So please bear this in mind, okay? So, two things and what was the third thing that I wanted to share? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Does not have to be master detail relationship as I already showed. None of these objects have master detail relationship. Okay, so with this, uh, I would like to end this video and uh, feel free to comment uh, below and let me know if, if you do not agree with this, if, if you have something else to share or if you would like to correct me feel free and, and do that. But um, this is something uh, that has been mentioned in the Salesforce documentation. And the same has been demonstrated by uh, Johan in, in his video, the one that I referred to have a better understanding. I was especially stuck on the point of the account owner's role. I was like, what, what the hell is that? Because, because I didn't honestly know about it. But uh, thankfully, you know, like when, when you prepare for a third exam, you obviously start learning a lot of uh, these things. So yeah, there's that. So with this, I would like to end this recording and I hope it helps. Bye-bye.